एवरीवन माई सेल्फ पंचम सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन के जी सी गाजियाबाद आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर द टॉपिक ऑन क्रिप्टोग्राफी नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी एंड द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज के सी एस जीरो सेवेंटी फोर दैट इज एस एस एल एंड एस सी टी सो वट इज एस एस एल बेसिकली एस एस एल स्टैंड फॉर सिक्योर सॉकेट लेयर एंड एस सी टी स्टैंड फॉर सिक्योर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांजेक्शन सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द वट इज द वेब सिक्योरिटी सो वेब सिक्योरिटी बेसिकली इट इज यूज फॉर द बिजनेस गवर्नमेंट एंड इंडिविजुअल सो वेब नाउ वाइडली यूज बाई द बिजनेस पर्पज गवर्नमेंट पर्पज एंड इंडिविजुअल पर्पज सो वट एवर यू आर गोइंग टू ट्रांसफर द डेटा ऑन बिजनेस पर्पज और गवर्नमेंट पर्पज या इंडिविजुअल सो वी विल यूज द वेब सिक्योरिटी और वेब टेक्निक्स सो बट इंटरनेट एंड वेब आर वनरेबल इन नेचर सो इफ यू गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द वट इज द इंटरनेट सो नेटवर्क अबाउट नेटवर्क दैट इज कॉल्ड द इंटरनेट एंड वेब आर बेसिकली इन क्लाइंट विद द इंटरनेट एंड वट एवर यू आर गोइंग टू ट्रांसफर सो एवरी थिंग इज ट्रांसफर बाई द इंटरनेट एंड वी आर गेटिंग द वेब सर्विसेस सो इफ यू गोइंग टू ट्रांसफर द इंफॉर्मेशन सो विच टाइप ऑफ चैलेंजेस यू विल जनरली फेस सो यू विल चेज फेस द नंबर ऑफ थ्रेट्स दैट कैन बी अकर ड्यूरिंग द ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द इंटीग्रिटी कॉन्फिडेंसिटी डिनाइल ऑफ सर्विसेस एंड अथेंटिकेशन सो डेटा इज ट्रांसफर सिक्योरली फ्रॉम वन एंड टू अनादर एंड सो डेफिनेटली यू विल आवर फोकस इज टू सी द डेटा कि यू कैन सिक्योर योर डेटा वट एवर यू आर गोइंग टू ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन सिस्टम टू अनादर सिस्टम दैट कैन बी सेफ फ्रॉम द थ्रेट्स सो हेयर इज द नीड एडेड सिक्योरिटी मैकेजम देर आर सम सिक्योरिटी मैकेजम इज रिक्वायर फॉर डेटा ट्रांसमिशन If you are going to transfer the data, which type of security mechanism you will use uh, in terms of the uh, cryptography network security, like uh, symmetric uh, encryption or asymmetric cryptography network security? So we can use different different techniques to encrypt the data from one end to another end, through which we can secure your transmission. Now, what is the SSL basically? So SSL is secure socket layer. so ssl is basically transport layer security services uh, protocol uh, in which we are the it is developed by the netscape and uh, it is designed for the purpose of public input uh, subsequently it become for the internet that is known as tls that is transport layer security so tls basically stand for the transport layer security now ssl is also concerned about the tcp matlab ssl is used the tcp tcp stand for uh, transmission control protocol it is a third layer protocol and it is more reliable for end to end services so tc uh, tcp basically reliable for end to end transmission at the third layer of the protocol ssl is has two layer of pr protocols basically it is work on the uh, transport layer as well as the network layer so it is a joint um, joint protocol that can be take the services of transport layer as well as the network layer so in network layer it will work as a tcp that is transmission control protocol and in and and in transport layer it can use the services of the transport layer so if you are going to discuss about the ssl architecture so why ssl is so important now your day so ssl is divided into different different layers of protocols in in first layer if you going to discuss about the ssl so ssl is use the protocol that is handshake protocol in second ssl change cipher specific protocol and third one is ssl alert protocol and last is http that is hyper transport protocol so ssl is categorized into four main category in first category it is divided into uh, four important protocol that can be used by the first layer in the second layer ssl record protocol and third layer that is tcp that, that is tcp stand for transmission control protocol and last one is the internet protocol so it is a group of the two layers transport layer and network layer through which ssl will work so tcp is a transmission control protocol ip is internet protocol this is the third layer protocol 
एंड एस एस एल बेसिकली ज्वाइंटली वर्क ऑन द ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर एज वेल एज द नेटवर्क लेयर सो वट आर द एस एस एल आर्किटेक्चर सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट टू इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एस एस एल दैट इज एस एस एल सेशन एंड एस एस एल कनेक्शन सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू इस्टेब्लिश कनेक्शन बिटवीन टू पर्सन और टू टू सिस्टम्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द क्लाइंट सर्वर आर्किटेक्चर सो आवर टारगेट इज टू फर्स्ट इस्टेब्लिश द कनेक्शन बिटवीन दो टू सिस्टम्स देन यू विल प्रोवाइड द सेशन बाई हैंड सेकिंग प्रोटोकॉल बाई हैंड सेकिंग थ्योरम देन आफ्टर यू कैन ट्रांसफर योर इंफॉर्मेशन और योर डेटा सो एस एस एल सेशन इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई द प्रोटोकॉल दैट इज कॉल्ड द हैंड सेक प्रोटोकॉल एंड वट इज द एस एस एल कनेक्शन सो एस एस एल कनेक्शन बेसिकली इट इज यूज फॉर द कनेक्टिंग द टू डिवाइसेज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्ट पीयर टू पीयर कम्युनिकेशन सो पीयर टू पीयर कम्युनिकेशन इफ यू आर गोइंग टू कनेक्ट टू सिस्टम सो हाउ दे आर गोइंग टू ट्रांसफर द डेटा इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द पीयर टू पीयर कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन लिंक्स आर रिक्वायर्ड बिटवीन टू पार्टीज बिटवीन टू सिस्टम सो विदाउट कनेक्शन वी कैन नॉट गोइंग टू ट्रांसफर योर डेटा वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू क्रिएट द सेशन बिटवीन द टू सिस्टम या क्लाइंट सर्वर आर्किटेक्चर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट द इन्वायरमेंट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द सेशन देन यू कैन ट्रांसफर योर डेटा फ्रॉम वन एंड टू एन अदर एंड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द क्लाइंट सर्वर आर्किटेक्चर सो if you going to this say about the shortly so ssl architecture is in, have two important concept ssl session and ssl connection ssl session means we require the session by using the handshake protocol ssl connection means we be, we will establish the connection by tcp transmission control protocol then you can provide the session then you can after that you can transfer your information so what is ssl protocol ssl record protocol so ssl record protocol is divided into two main category that is confidentiality and message integrity so confidential means if you are going to transfer any information so definitely you, you our target is to secure transmission from one end to another and is important so confidential information must be transform transfer from one system to another system by using the different different cryptographic techniques uh by using symmetric encryption with a shared secret key defined by the handshake protocol so handshake protocol is used the symmetric encryption techniques so in symmetric encryption techniques you will use the common key between sender and receiver and both are using the common key and they are encrypting and decrypting their information so confidentiality uh, basically have using the handshake protocol and handshake protocol have the different different protocols are given here you can see these are the protocol and message is compressed before encryption message is compressed before encryption so if you are going to uh, encrypt the data if you are going to encrypt the information so you will first encrypt the data then you will uh, sorry for first you will compress the data then you will encrypt the information so encryption is done after the uh, before the uh, after the compression encryption is done after the compression so these are the techniques that is used in the confidentiality now next technique is the message integrity so message integrity means using a mac with shared secret key so message integrity basically work on the mac protocol uh, medium access control protocol and it also use the shared secret key so shared secret key means you are using the common key between the sender and receiver now last one is the similar to hmac but with different padding so it is more similar to the hmac and and different from the padding is we are going to pad the information before transmission so it is matlab uh, it is mac jo mac standard ya mac mac technique is is little bit different from the hmac uh, during the transmission of information what is the ssl alert protocol ssl alert protocol is a type of protocol that give the alert when you are going to transfer your information so convey ssl related alert to peer entity so if you are if you are going to connect it from one system to another system and we are transmitting your information so ssl alert protocol is alert about the uh, something is going to uh, something going to wrong happen someone someone is going to theft your information in such case 
SSL add protocol will activated. So similarly, warning or filter in the form of the it will give the warning to you that something is going, someone is going to use your uh, uh, OTP, uh, something is going to uh, use the uh, data that is not uh, ethically used by the that person. So it will just give the uh, alert to you through which you can uh, alert. Uh, you can know about that things we are not going to share that information to other person that can harmful for you so the next one is the specific alert a specific alert uh, will occur in term, in terms of the expected masses bad record mark decompressed failure handshake failure legal parameter so these are the alert basically occur that is called the specific alert so these are the two types of alert is here severity and is and specific alert. Severity so means just you are getting the warning. A specific alert means you are getting the alert in the form of the message, in the form of the record of the MAC, decompression failure, health failure. So this type of alert will occur during the communication. And the last one is the compressed and encrypted like all SSL data. So this type of alert may be occur at the time of the encryption of data so ssl alert basically alerting about the uh, mishappening of the things which you are not know about that so that is that type of alert is called the ssl alert so it is divided into two main categories so what is ssl handshake protocol so ssl handshake protocol uh, it is very popular uh, in cryptography network security basically if you are going to uh, uh, share data from one system to another system. So, who will take the responsibility that can be handled by the SSL handshake protocol? So, handshake means you are sharing the data from one end to another end, and another is responding to you. Ki, I am agree to receiving the data, whatever you are going to share. So, used before any application data is transmitted, allow server and client. So, basically. Uh, server and client they are work on a client server architecture in SSL handshake protocol. So client want to access the services from the server. So it will send the request to the server. Server will revert back to the acknowledge to the client. Now you will get the connection between them. Then you can uh, get the get the information uh, whatever you want to from the server. So authenticate each other. So it is required that authentication is is important in SSL handset protocol so first you will authenticate ki both are known to each other then the communication is established between them then you can transfer your information so authentication is the first stage where handset protocol will work now second was to negotiate encryption and MAC algorithm to negotiate cryptographic key to be used so this type of technique cryptographic technique you are going to use in the form of the symmetry key in the form of the asymmetric key cryptographic techniques so these type of techniques uh, you can use in the handshake protocol to encrypt and decrypt the information which are going to send comprises a series of messages in phases establish security capability second one several authentication and key exchange is required whenever you are going to uh, share your information Last one is client authentication and key exchange. So client authentication is required and key exchange is also required during the uh, handshake protocol. So if you are going to establish uh, connection between each other, so you will follow the handshake protocol and both client and server, they are authenticated to each other. They will share the key between each other. After that, they can communicate to each other in the form of the data in the form of the information so whatever you are going to do so first you will follow the rules and regulation of handshake protocol so then after you can communicate then you can uh, share your information uh, at the end you will finish your connection then when you will finish your transmission of data so in this diagram it is very clearly explained that how SSL handset protocol is work. So client want to connect to the server. So client send a request to the server in the form of the hello. Client send a hello message to the server and server respond that hello message server hello. So 
client and server first they want to establish connection so then client is connected to the server that is the first phase is established now move for the second phase client, server is responded in the form of the certificate that is certificate it means that you are authenticated now you can uh, share your data yeah you can communicate to server server key exchange then after server will share the key between the client and the server certificate request is also shared by the server server hello done is also shared by the server so what server is doing what client is doing so both are doing the different different task so first task that is work by the client that is called the client hello so client want to want to connect with the server so client first send the request to the server say i want to connect with the server then server will reply the hello that is server hello then after process will be done by the uh, server in the form of the key exchange in the form of the uh, connection established between the two parties that is done by the server now this is the first step this is the second step that is phase 1 and phase 2 in phase 1 establish security capability including protocol version session id cipher suit compression method and initial random number so these things are happen in phase 1 so phase 1 is concerned about the connection between the client and the server by in the form of the hello message now in second phase server may send certificate key exchange so server is authenticated to the client and now he is ready to share the key data key exchange and connection establishment and certificate so these three things that can be done by the server side now move for the phase 3 when it share the certificate to the client so client respond that he he, he received the certificate the key exchange by the server is now uh, now that is uh, generally defined by the client client verify the key it means that both party they are sharing the key exchange between them then after that they are secure ki they are authenticated and now they are ready to communicate between them now next one that is phase 4 change cipher spec finish change cipher spec finish so in last step that is if the, the things are going to finish they, then they are going to finish the connection so if they are going to finish the connection it means that the things are going to finalize everything is done by the client and server whatever they want to transfer between them so simply in words uh, you can say that the phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and phase 4 so every phase they are representing how client want to connect with the server how server is responding in the form of the certificate in the form of the key exchange in the form of the request done and third phase is is also uh, authenticated by the client and the client has get the certificate client has get the key so things are connected between client and server and after that they are connected between each other then they can do the anything whatever they want to transfer the data or information and at the end they are going to finish their connection they authenticate now client has finished the connection and server has finished the connection so connection is now going to finish or you can say connection is not going to break if you are going to communicate to again with the server so now you will send request in the form of the hello hello server then after you will establish the connection then here there is a session key will be generated with the client and server then you can perform your task now what is the secure electronic transaction so secure electronic transaction uh, the terms is uh, you are going to transmission the transferring the money from one uh, system to another system so how you are going to securely transfer your transaction from one system to another system or you can say one uh, person to another person so that is called the secure electronic transaction so open encryption and security specification secure electronic transaction basically uh, work on encryption and security specification techniques now second point is protect internet credit card transaction so credit card transaction is a type of plastic money we are going to use by the mastercard visa card 
that that has been established by by the master card visa card in 1996 and uh, this uh, plastic money you can use by the different different security techniques so if you're going to uh, transfer the money from one person to another person by the master card or visa card so how your transaction is safe that is the question that is big question ki how you are going to safely transfer your money uh, to one person to another person not a payment system rather a set of security protocol and formats so these are the uh, key points of the secure electronic transaction now secure communication amongst parties trust from use of x.509 v3 certificate privacy by restricted in for those who need it so these are the information if you're going to uh, use the plastic card in the form of the money like master card and visa card so how you are more secure to transfer from uh, transfer money to one person to another person or you can say uh, one uh, uh, system to another system so that is the important in the form of the secure electronic transaction so this diagram is clearly explained that secure electronic tra uh, transaction how it can going to happen so electronic transaction basically it can perform by the internet so internet is compulsory or mandatory uh, how merchant is uh, is they are connected to each other in the figure in this figure card holder is there they are want to uh, 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 cash the money in the form of the plastic card they connected with the internet merchant is connected and they are connected to each other so who has issued the card that is the issuer payment network is connected acquirer is connected certificate authentication is connected and payment gateway is connected so uh, from which place you are getting the money who is the merchant of that card how you are getting the money from which bank or you, you can say uh, uh, which uh, uh, SET that is secure electronic transaction so SET will perform by the different different uh, issuing parties uh, you can say they are giving the card in the form of the master card or visa card then how you are getting the uh, money from the different different uh, issuing authority then you are receiving the money and they are authenticated that you are using that card and after that you are detecting this, this amount of money from this card and they have uh, sent the message and uh, they have acknowledged to you then after you can authenticate that you have used the card uh, for the given transaction now SSL transaction will occur in a different different phase you can say customer borrow and uh, decided to purchase customer want to purchase something uh, then in second step, SET sends order and payment information to the merchant. SET, the secure electronic transaction will uh, send a message, send the order to the merchant. So then merchant will, in the third step, merchant forward payment information to the bank. So these are the step by step executing how SET will work. So in the first step, that is a customer borrows and decided to purchase something. Second step, SET send order and payment information to the merchant. Merchant forward that payment information to the bank and bank that is merchant bank decide how much money you want to borrow. Bank check with the issuer for payment author uh, authorization. So who has author authorized this card? Uh, for the transaction so bank will check the uh, uh, authority authority of that particular card in the form of the visa and mastercard so it will go to the step number four that is that can be checked by the visa party there's a customer bank issuer who has issued you issue the card then after it will get the permission from the uh, customer bank issue authorized payment that can be authorized by the issuer bank then after it go to the merchant bank then after you can get the merchant capture transaction then the, these things going to perform in the form of the transaction so these are the phases basically occur during SET transactions so what is the SET transaction so SET, uh, SET transaction secure electronic transaction transaction basically happen in uh, 10 important steps or 10 important points so step number one customer open account so first step is the 
So if customer want to do the transaction, so first uh, he she will open the account. Now second step, customer receive a certificate. Third step is merchant have their own certificate. And fourth step is customer places an order. So customer want to place the order. So how he can place the order? So he will first follow the upper three points or upper three rules. Then after he will place the order. Now fifth point is merchant is verified the order which you are going to place. And sixth step is order and payment are sent to the bank where you want to get the transaction. So in seven point merchant request payment author authorization authorized merchant confirms order merchant provides goods or services and merchant request payment done. So these are the steps so through which we can perform the SET transaction by the MasterCard or by the Visa card that is plastic card. So before you are going to do the transaction, so our target is to first follow the these important points. Then these important points will happen one by one. Then after you can do the transaction. So as it is not so simple. So if you are going to do anything in the form of the transaction, so definitely you will follow the these guidelines are these are the important points. Then you can do the transaction. So SET transactions basically using the different different uh, customer open account in the form of the issuer like MasterCard and Visa card. The customer receives uh, X.509 in the form of the certificate and these are the SET transactions used by the different different uh, issuer uh, card issuer authority in the form of the MasterCard in the Visa card. SEC transaction, the customer sends order and payment information to the merchant. That is that is the one point. And second point is the merchant request payment author, authorization from the payment gateway prior to the shipment. And next one is the, the merchant confirms order. These are the very important points. The merchant confirms order to the customer. Next is the, the merchant provides the goods or services to the customer. What goods and services you want. Okay. You, you, can, uh, you can do the transactions. Last one is that the merchant request payment from the payment gateway. So payment get, you are getting the payment from the payment gateway. So definitely you will follow the upper up, up, up points of the rules that can be performed in that system. Key technologies of SST, SET use uh, DES, SET use um, SHA1 hash codes, SST also use the X.509 V3 uh, digital certification by using the RSA signature and SET is also authenticated by the X.509 V3 digital uh, certificate that is used by the RSA. So these are the certificate that is given to the SET during the transaction. Thank you.